please welcome Medina, founder, Equal Space. The best of what they do. 
But not only that, bring real conversation. Panels with juggernauts like Google. Isaiah Bell's one of the chief freaking dope developers who told them that they could be the next great inventor. You don't know what that means for multicultural voices that aren't vetted on. But then when you follow that up with having WordPress talk about its rebranding cities platform, they scaled Newark and discovered that our small businesses were in the single digits online. So they committed to getting them online and helping them increase their sales. Follow that up with a spotlight. Our tech scene is super dope. You've been here all day. So one of our freaking all-stars, what I call a black unicorn, is Ali. He's one of the founders of Claim It. And he's been able to secure a multi-million dollar investment in his portfolio. Do you know what that means to startups that are trying to make it every day to see that we can do it? So everyone leaves the summit energized. I'm exhausted. But everyone leaves the summit feeling something. But that's not really what makes me re up every day. What makes me believe in multicultural voices is when I walk through the doors of equal space. I see my founders hustling and rising and grinding through every single day. I see amazing startups like Ashley Morgan for the Neighbor Project. Ashley wants to arm local citizens to build up their financial wealth to not only reside in these buildings, but to rise just like Newark is in ownership of those buildings. She has a holistic model about how they can arm themselves, tools of the trade, the whole nine. But that's not really where she's great, too. Strategically, she's working with developers to build residences in sympathy to the neighborhoods they're building in. One of the chief effects, visually, of gentrification are buildings that are built that are completely not in sympathy with the history of the neighborhoods they reside in. But Ashley's making bridges and pushing people forward and creating this neighborhood-centric approach. Ask me, I told Paul had a solution to gentrification. Or it's in arming because information is power. Calitex News is one of my startups. Reg Calix all day reviews products, talks about events, interviews amazing juggernauts like Alice Conrad from Forbes or Samara Lynn from Black Enterprise. His goal is to make sure that everyone knows what's going on in the landscape from here to the West Coast. If that doesn't get it, I went on one with all of my startups. It like brings joy, even when I'm exhausted. It's like, I'm, I'm off, I'm ready, what do you want, what do you got? And we share obstacles, we share pain points. I can't solve every problem, but we do get through. One of my prides is Christina Bright. She left corporate America so that she could pursue what her authentic self was, so that she could be the example she always wanted to be for her son. She shared everything. She shared, I don't know what I'm doing with motherhood. She shared, I mean, acne. She, like, she was transparent in a way that I could never be. And her audience loves it. Her 300K plus audience loves the content she develops. In her one year at Equal Space, she garnered a profit margin, and she's now shooting her pieces at the YouTube influencer space in New York. That I don't think is just enough. I know even from my side that I have to put in more, that I have to scale the impact of what I'm doing. I believe that Equal Space belongs on the multicultural side of every city in America. And while I know that that is true, what I want to pass on is, when you are looking at a landscape with trepidation, when the founder in front of you is unfamiliar, I ask you to shift, to be excited, to explore the fact that being a funder or being a founder is a partnership that yields not just a financial commitment, but in that partnership, the scalable impact you can do together through partnership. I'm not intrinsically different than anyone else. I'm honored to do the spotlight. But what I can say is that I wanted to affect my community regardless of my bandwidth. What I wanted to do was be an innovator and the change maker I always dreamed I could be. Because I think multicultural is the next wave. It is the future. And I want to know what they could do with real funding. What future could they paint? Because what I'm doing, I'm just a boy from Brooklyn. Made in Newark, making something out of nothing. And so can they. Thank you so much. <laughs>